Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte, I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is millions of leaked passwords. If you've been watching the tech or information security news lately, you probably saw a big story about 773 million leaked credentials. Uh, one of our favorite and well-known uh, researchers out there, Troy Hunt, who runs the website Have I Been Pwned, basically said that he found a new huge repository of stolen and leaked credentials on the dark web and other hacker channels. Now, these passwords at one point were said to be billions and billions, but after Troy deduped all of these leaked credentials, it turns out there's only 773 million leaked credentials in this first leak. That said, the place he found these leaked credentials, which by the way are called Collection One, also apparently have five other collections of leaked credentials as well. So this could be millions and millions of leaked credentials. Now, just like a previous post where a huge 1.4 billion uh, uh, email address file full of leaked credentials showed up on the dark web, these credentials are probably old leaks of many, many uh, different breached websites out there. So it's an aggregate of well over 200 different breach sites. It's not just one breach with all these credentials. And some of these credentials could be quite old and nothing new. Now, of course, if you don't change your password often, or worse yet, you use the same password everywhere, this newly available set of leaked credentials could be a big deal for you. So what should you do about it? Well, first of all, you can go to Have I Been Pwned and enter your email address to see if you've been uh, affected by any of these breaches. If you've used multiple passwords over the years, uh, Troy Hunt also has a place on that site where you can enter your actual password to see if your particular password has been compromised. That said, there is huge risk in entering a password that you use on someone's site, so I would be very careful with that. That said, it's not that bad to enter your email address to see if it's been affected. And of course, if it has been, you probably should change your uh, credentials as usual. This really is nothing new if you watch these videos. Uh, by the way, the simple tips always work. Use multi-factor authentication whenever you can. That way these breaches won't be a big deal. Use strong passwords, not short ones, because long passwords, even when the hash leaks, they're harder to crack. Most importantly, don't use the same password everywhere. You should be using different passwords everywhere, which is hard, but that's why you use a password manager. A password manager makes that device quite easy. By the way, if you want to know more about this story, be sure to subscribe to our The 443 Security Simplified podcast. You can find it on all the podcast streaming sites, whether it be Apple's podcast app or Google's podcast app or Stitcher or whatnot. In any case, in a recent episode, we actually discussed this big leak uh, in quite a bit of detail. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.